Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I host Star Talk. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? Thank we you. win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Wow, 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 wow! I'm getting it! No, you don't want to look at Venus. Well, you could, but not with people. Because you would be crushed by the atmospheric pressure nearly a hundred times that of Earth. Then you would rapidly vaporize from the 900 degrees Fahrenheit, four or 500 degrees Celsius temperatures. It's a runaway greenhouse effect. It is hostile to organic chemistry, which therefore makes it hostile to life. You go around the solar system, Jupiter doesn't have a surface to land on. It's all gaseous. Same with Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But they've got some awesome moons orbiting around them. One of them, my favorite, is Europa. Europa is a, one of the moons of Jupiter. It's icy on the surface, but the stress from Jupiter's gravity pumps energy into Europa, melting that ice. So there's an ocean of liquid water. It's been liquid for billions of years. On Earth, any place we find liquid water, we find life. So one of NASA's edicts is to follow the water. Maybe you'll find life. I want to go to Europa, cut a hole in the ice, drop a camera, see if anything swims up to the lens and licks it. Yeah. That, so so uh, Europa is very high on my list. There's another moon, one of the moons of Saturn. Saturn, right here, that's my planet, Saturn. Saturn has a moon, one of the largest moons in the solar system called Titan. Titan has an atmosphere. It's a moon with an atmosphere. That's cool. Uh, it's got an atmosphere. It's very cold. So water is completely frozen solid. I mean, we call it ice. But on that moon's surface, it's the bedrock of the landscape. Well, at those temperatures, what else happens? Gases that we're familiar with in gaseous form have liquefied. There are liquid lakes of methane. Methane is that gas that comes out of your stove. On Titan, the methane has liquefied the rivers of methane, lakes of methane. Who is to say that there isn't life based on liquid methane there? Just as here we are life based on the liquids available to us, water. So maybe life doesn't require liquid water. Maybe just life needs liquid anything. <laughs>